Hello, this is Dragon Tank 1400. This is All Growing Up, Season 3, Episode 9 Review. The name of the episode is Dude, Where's My Horse? So, in this episode, all eight main characters, you know, I'm talking about Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Kimmy, Dill, Angelica, and Susie, they all get like a certain like role. So, um, some of them are a little small, others bigger. Tommy, of course, being the biggest, and he gets the biggest character development. But I do enjoy that every character had some role to play in this episode. So we can start off with Tommy and basically he's the reason all the kids are going out to the ranch for a week. And at first like they're mad at him. Even after the first day they're really mad at him. However once they find out they're going on a, well not a cattle drive, an ostrich drive. They think it's a cattle drive. They get all excited again. So all the kids are going out on the ranch and Tommy is the most excited. However, he's the worst at all the ranch stuff. He can't do anything. Everyone seems to be getting it right away, especially Chucky. And he just can't even like barely ride a horse basically by the end of it. Now we know from like previous episodes in this series that Tommy is like naturally gifted at well pretty much anything he does. And he still has to work at it a little bit. However, he's, he, he gets stuff right away. Like at the beginning of the season in Fear of Falling, he, he, was like, he was like a really good rock climber to the point that he could teach Chucky. Now he obviously rock climbed before. However, like the point that he's that young, he's able to teach Chucky and his parents don't mind him going out with just, you know, just someone who doesn't know uh, how to do it is just shows like how good he is at like anything really he tries now in this episode he tried like all the ranch stuff the getting on a horse lassling he kept lassling Lil by accident it was that was kind of funny Tommy just kept failing after one thing after another now seeing a character like I said like Tommy fail at something is really good for like character development in terms of that he's never really failed at stuff before and now he has to face it and his first thing is like he's just going to give up on it but after a talk from his grandpa Lou he ends up going back on it and you know getting back on the horse to say and, and he ends up going on the ostrich drive now on the ostrich drive stuff goes down and the main guy gets hurt and his son has to take him back to to the ranch Basically, it's kind of Tommy's fault by accident. And, like, someone needs to step up as a leader. Now, at first, Tommy doesn't want to lead. However, Chucky talks him into it and ends up leading. And basically, um, more stuff happens. And there's I, I ostrich wranglers, I guess you could call them. Wrangle up the ostriches. And Tommy comes up with a plan to stop them. And then storm hits and flash flood and Tommy ends up getting another plan to get the ostriches across the running water. So they end up getting there all because of Tommy. He he was a good leader, but he was tore about the cowboy stuff. He even mentions it. Oh, you guys did all the stuff. But then Chucky's like, well, no, we only did it because you told us what to do. You're a great leader. So great character development on Tommy's part we get to see him actually grow as a person we get to see him fail and how he dealt with failure he needed some help from Grandpa Lou and Chucky however it was, it was I wouldn't call it like a crisis but it was for him it was a very hard for him to deal with failure so great character development on Tommy's part now Chucky we get to see him to see at something we don't get to see much character development there However, it's really good to see him to see that all the ranch stuff and he's like, oh, I'm really good. However, it's not really good at the city. And he ends up playing a harmonica. I were guessing like for the first time and he just picks it up right away. I, I just I just thought it was really, really good to see a character like Chucky who fails at all kinds of stuff actually succeed like instantly at something. You kind of say it was this, kind of the same as interview with a campfire as Chucky was instantly good at like mystery solving 
and he's all and he's instantly good at this cowboy stuff. So it's really good to see that Chucky does have some talents. However, the reason they're not displayed is because they're not really that useful <clears throat> in his hometown, in his city. Now we actually get some really good character development from Angelica as she hatches this ostrich and the ostrich thinks Angelica is, is its mother, which it's not. However, the ostrich really, um, at first, like Angelica's like, get this thing away from me. But then Angelica feels like really motherly towards the ostrich, which is like a different, completely different side of Angelica than we've ever seen before. So it's really good to see that side that she could actually end up being a good mother, you know, down the line. Now, I also liked kind of Kimmy's character in this as, as she's in some ways like Tommy in the sense that she's like has this confidence. She's like she sees that stuff and everything like that. However, like in this episode, we get to see her try cooking and fail at cooking like time and time again. But this, the, but then throughout the episode, we get to see her gradually get better and to the point that her meal is like amazing. Like it's the best thing they ever taste at the end. So it was really good to see like uh kimmy like start off really bad at something and then her succeeding at it at the end i i really like that and this is like the probably the most character development all season we got of kimmy not I'm not sure why we should have got like at least one episode however you know whatever now lil we actually got to see kind of a little bit of character development as well and a little bit of throwback to the original series of rugrats as at first she just doesn't want to get dirty at all she's like she's the only one wearing gloves and she wants to keep everything clean and everything like that however towards the end of the episode she falls in mud well she doesn't fall in mud she actually uh leaps into mud and to save uh the uh, the baby ostrich and she ends up really enjoying the mud she's like uh, she kind of reverts back to, you know, uh, being a baby and whining and stuff. She's she's like, why can't you let me stay in that? Phil gets to stay in the mud. So <clears throat> I thought it was really good. It was a really good throwback to Rugrats as Phil and Lil were always like playing in the mud and stuff like that. So it was, it was, it was interesting to see Lil like be completely against it, but then. Once she once she's in the mud, she's like that's all that's all she wants. She wants to just play in the mud, so it's it's kind of it, it was just really interesting. I I thought it was. Now Susie, I I really like Susie's character in this, as she's like this good girl, but she wants to do something that's kind of bad. She wants to tip a cow. We get to see this more in like a I think it's season five where the episode's titled Susie Goes Bad a Little or, or something something down those lines, and. Like Susie's this good girl, doesn't do anything wrong. However, she wants to tip a cow really bad, and she ends up doing it at the end. But the idea of a character like Susie, like a good girl wanting to do something bad, it was just good character development for her, just a little bit. We get to see more of that later, but it was good to see it like earlier as well. Now, Dill, he's in this like Spanish soap opera or whatever, and he's just trying to find out something like to watch it because he's missing all the episodes he ends up finding it which was uh which was good it was it was good to see like even the country folks like they still want to watch tv like it's not just like city folks who want to watch it and he was all ashamed about it because he's like this is uh i have a reputation here i can't be watching this show and it ends up being you know a spanish show proper which is not like it's not like it's like a like a a normal show for like a man to watch so it was just, it was just interesting to see that the last character got the least development out of everyone and that's phil <laughs> we get to see that he he like likes shoveling the poop and we kind of already knew that about him from like previous episodes like curse of reptar and stuff how his like <clears throat> his goals in like getting a career are like or like jobs like no one wants like <clears throat> shoveling poop being a construction worker um being a garbage man like most people don't want those jobs but phil like that's his dream it's it, it it's, it's always funny to see that 
Oh, and one more last thing. I really enjoyed the. I thought it was really funny that it's the first time, first few times I watched it, was the scene where Phil and Dill are playing cards with each other, and they're like, "It's it's gonna turn into like a shootout or whatever." I just I, I thought that scene was hilarious the first couple times I watched it. Of course, now that I'm expecting it, it's not. It's never as funny. However, it, I thought it was just a great scene. Overall, I think this is a great episode. It had, like like I said, every character did something in this episode, which is always good to see. For an episode like this that's 44, 45, 44 or 45 minutes long, uh, you get time to like develop that. Now, the main plot of Tommy, that, that was great. And Chucky actually succeeding at something was great as well. Now, one thing I wasn't too impressed with was the animation. Of course, it's all grown up. The animation isn't amazing, like... And it's an older show and stuff like that. They did not improve like the character models from like season one. However, I think season one had some like really good um, animation like short scenes where it was like there was a lot in that animation, a lot of detail. Like we haven't really seen that this season. I'll talk more about that in the season review. However, in this episode, like compared to like River Rats where you see all this nature and stuff like that. You got to see some nature in the background and stuff, but it wasn't, I don't think it was like as good as like River Rats or Interview with a Campfire. And I expected like an episode that's focused on like the wilderness to have like a little better animation with the scenery and stuff like that. I just, I personally like that. Like I, I really like seeing sceneries and stuff like that and animation. Like that's one thing I really like about like How to Train Your Dragon is the amazing sceneries in it and I know like the animation isn't gonna be as good as like a movie and it's an older show however I would like to see them like improve instead of like kind of go backwards so for that it's like a negative oh overall I'm gonna do the episode a 9 out of 10 great episode maybe I'm being a little too hard on it however um, that's my choice anyway thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the review See you in the next one. Bye.